Anybody, any other questions around the table? I want first? to add one thing quickly before we move on to the next part. As most of you here around the table know, we do have the large phosphate mine in the south end of our county. Now, there, there again with DEP, we're talking about something in Florida. But I know that in Florida, there was a way to get the attention of all the agencies because of water quality. And Louie Gooden, our county coordinator, is here today, and he might can help me with, he's over there, he might can help me with some of this information. But there are regular meetings, there are volumes, volumes, volumes of information that the phosphate mine has to keep up with, and it is regulated and checked regularly by so many different agencies, all the way up to the federal level. Um, so we're looking at Florida, but they had to do things such as, at their expense, replace wells for people who live close enough where they've damaged the water quality, regularly keep new filtration <coughs> systems, and keep those up and going for the residents. They have to regularly go around to these residents, and correct me if I'm wrong with some of this, Louie, and uh, continually monitor their water quality. So there is a way to get the attention. Now obviously we would prefer that none of that ever reach our counties where we have to go to all of this, uh, the water filtration and all, but there is a way to somehow get the attention of all of these agencies and demand the regular action on the part of the business in our county. We just cross the state line and it seems to shut us down. And that's real, real quickly, the financial burden has not fallen back on the county. Right. And the, the mine has been very cooperative uh, with the findings of DEP at this point and responding to those issues. And it's not been a financial burden on the county. But again, like you said, it's here. Mm -hmm. We take care of it. it goes across the state line. Everybody washes their hands up. Nothing happens. Anything, so. we, we've seen big problems taken care of in our county because of the phosphate mine. But we have this right across the line, and there just seems to be nothing we can do. And I wanted to share that. Does anybody else? Yeah, yeah. I just got one quick comment to say that as a member of the task force, you know, I personally was heartened by what was being told to us by Val Austin up until this this thing with the with the failure on uh, really human failure. But then I wanted to point out, and I don't know the exact time frame, but sometime within that seven days or that seven and a half million gallons released. And if you do some quick math, that's almost 50,000 gallons out. And that, to me, conveys a lack of concern from Valosta of not monitoring their inputs into their system. And they're losing 50,000 gallons an hour, which is what, a million gallons a day, and they don't know it? And, and if, if I was a business, a private business, EPA would make it so painful <laughs> on them that they would never probably overcome it. And yet, about us, it over and over. That's the heart of the frustration. That's the heart. Any others questions on that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank before I go into citizen comment, um, I, I would like to I would like to say though locally that, that our local health departments in Hamilton County and Madison County they've been phenomenal working with us and we're trying to keep us informed of what's been going on daily and we appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, Senator, is it okay to get okay? Um, first is and please forgive me for not pronouncing names for right. But, <laughs> 